this can be called a uh, type 2 sum uh, the opposite of what we did before previously we found the probability and for that we did the z score and after that we looked up the table this type this time the probability will be given so the normal distribution will be uh, the question will be given in such a way that one of the parameters the mean or the variance is missing it will be missing and the probabilities will be given this time all you have to do is find the mean or and the variance so that's the question so let me give you the type 2 example so example 1 so a normal distribution is given where the mean is unknown and the variance is 2 squared that means 4 so now given probability of z is greater than 4 is equals to uh, 30% so find mu find the mean okay so we do the sum the same way we do it before so probability of z is greater than 4 is equal to 30 percent means 30 divided by 100 so 0.3 so no this is not z score this is x now we do the z score so z is greater than 4 minus mu so divided by sigma standard deviation is 2 so we can write divided by 2 so equals to point 0.3 remember if you do z-score the probability cannot change the probability will always be the same so now this is the case now what you have to do is you have to identify whether this thing is positive or not so in this it's always very helpful if you just draw a picture so if you draw the picture of the standard normal distribution because we have converted to z-score so 30 percent means and greater than it means on the right hand side and 30 percent means this is half this is 50 percent so let me show you if this is the area if the probability is the area so if this is zero for the standard normal distribution this is the standard normal distribution the mean is zero and the variance is one so this region is 50 percent 0.5 and this region is 0.5 so remember if the probability is more than 50 percent greater than 50 percent so it is going to be on the positive side but if it is less than 50 percent it is going to be on the negative side remember then the value of z would be negative maybe this would be plus a this would be minus a or something so this would be positive side this would be negative side so this is extremely important to know which side are we putting the value here so greater than means on the right hand side and 30 percent point three means definitely less than point five so it will be somewhere around here so this is 30 percent point three and this is positive a so we can say let four minus mu i hope you don't find this confusing this is four this is mu divided by two is equals to a so therefore probability of z is greater than a equals to point three now we have for this type of sum where the probability is given and we have to find the mean and the standard deviation we have a special table called the percentage table which is a greater than table for this type of a sum we don't have to look up the usual table we can move on to the next table which is a special table especially for this sum it's the percentage table and this table is greater than so this will be for this type of sum it would be greater than so now we are looking for the value of z z is greater than what the probability is 0.3 so we have the probability as 0.3 the probability is 0.3 so we look up the probability here so here since we are doing the opposite uh, we know the probability so if the probability is 0.3 then the value of z is going to be 0.5244 so that's it we got it we got the value of a so that means so 4 minus mu divided by 2 equals to 0.5244 therefore from here we can find the mu so this is going to be 4 minus mu equals to 2 into 
point five two four four and this is going to be one point zero four eight eight so one point zero four eight eight so therefore mu equals to if you send the mu to the other side and this to this side it would be four minus one point zero four eight eight so this would be four minus this answer this would be 2.9512 so 2.9512 so depending on what the question asked 9512 you can write the answer in one decimal places or two decimal places so this is how the sum is done and for this type of sum we use the other table if we can which is a greater than table percentage table so let's do another sum where we have to find the standard deviation so example 2 we have a normal distribution where the mean is 5 here and the variance is unknown so given probability of x is less than x is less than 7 so probability of x is less than 7 is equals to mm, we can make this uh, something that works okay let's give 15 percent find the standard deviation first thing is that is less than 7 equals to 15 percent means 0.15 so therefore z score always z score first remember 7 minus mu is uh, 5 divided by sigma equals to 0.15 remember the probability doesn't really change when you do z score so let's draw the standard normal distribution it's a very good guidance it's a very good idea to draw this it helps a lot so less than less than means on the left hand side and the area is 15 percent so 15 percent means it's going to be less than 50 percent so maybe around here so the area is going to be like this so this is negative let me use negative a so let 7 minus 5 divided by sigma be negative a therefore probability of z is less than negative a equals to 0.15 so by the law of symmetry we can just change the inequality symbol reverse it and make it positive so 0.15 and we can look up the other table which is a percentage table for greater than so for this type of sum so if we look up the table we'll find that for z is greater than 0.15 it's four decimal places so 0.15 if this is the probability for greater than the value of z is going to be 1.0364 so it's going to be like this so we know what the value is so 7 minus 5 is 2 2 by sigma is minus a so minus 1.0364 so therefore 2 7 minus 5 is 2 divided by minus 1.0364 equals to sigma so this particular value is going to be we use the calculator I think uh, since sigma cannot be negative so and I made up the sum so that's the problem when you make up sum so what happens is that this one uh, instead of uh, 5 this should actually have been 3 so this should have been 3 that should then the sum would have been correct so if I use 3 instead 3 instead then what happens 3 minus 5 is minus 2 and this minus and minus, and minus cancels off then the sum will be correct because you see variance cannot be standard division cannot be negative standard division is a gap between one data to another data that gap cannot be negative so I made up the sum that's why it came like that so I changed it so 2 divided by 1.0364 1.0364 and this is 
1.9298 so that is the answer now the question is when you have to find this type of a sum where the unknown is either the mean or the standard deviation will will it always be z is greater than like it was here in this one and the previous one and we use the other table the percentage table well sometimes it might not be the case in that case you will have to use the regular normal distribution the opposite way as you see the value of z and find the probability in that case you have to find the closest probability and then find the value of z let's do an example like that where you cannot use the percentage one so example three suppose this is the normal distribution where we have let's use larger number now 25 as as the mean and 16 is the variance I'm not writing it as a square format because you cannot always write it in the square format so let, let me write it as instead of 16 let me write it as 12 so that it's not a perfect square this is the variance remember when we write the normal distribution it is mean and variance sigma squared is variance so given so this time find the given the probability x is greater than 23 uh, well I forgot we were supposed to find one unknown so let's do one thing let's make this the unknown let's okay let's make this the unknown mu mu is unknown okay so z is greater than 23 and the probability suppose it is 65 percent and you have to find mu okay so let's get started so we hope that we can use the percentage table so the first thing we do is x is greater than 23 equals to 65 percent means 0.65 so therefore z score z is greater than 23 minus mu we don't know what mu is divided by now this is variance sigma squared so this is going to be standard deviation sigma square root so this is how it is working so equals to probability remains the same so now what we have to do this is rather complicated so again we have to draw a picture to see whether this is positive or negative so the z score the standard normal distribution picture is going to be now 65 percent greater than means the picture is going to be on the right hand side so we know half of this picture is 50 percent so 65 percent means it will spill over here so it will be like this so a is negative here so this this region is 65 percent so it will half of it is 50 percent so it will spill over to the negative side so we can write let 23 minus mu divided by square root of 12 equals to minus a therefore probability of z is greater than minus a equals to 0.65 now we cannot use the percentage table the reason we cannot use it one reason is that this is negative all the z value is uh, positive so this is actually not greater than we we have to convert this into less than another reason is that this is 0 0.65 0 0.65 if you take a look closely it's not here it starts from 0.5 this is 0 0.05 there is no 0.65 so we cannot use this table so we have to get back to the previous table which is the normal distribution table that we are familiar with so our old friend so what we have to do here so we have to do the usual so z is less than a equals to 0.65 now it fits very easily z is less than you can just look up the table so now the probability has to be found from here from that we find the z remember that's so a 0.65 so we have to look at the probability here so 0.65 this is 0.69 so 0.65 0.65 and this is 0.65 and which is the closest to 0.65 so we have this here to choose from remember we have to take the closest one this is 0.6517 so 17 actually 0.0017 more than 0 0.65 0 0.65 means 0 0.65 zero, 00 so this is a bit more now this is 0 0.6480 this is 20 less this is 17 more well actually 0 
0.00017 more so this is closest so 0.6517 so we are going to take this one as 0.39 so z is less than 0.39 equals to 0.6517 so remember 0 0.39 is 0 0.6517 so what we have to do so this is we put it here so 23 minus mu divided by square root of 12 equals remember the negative sign we have to just put it in this equation just as it is so minus 0.39 so minus 0.39 now we have to do the calculation so 23 minus mu equals to minus 0.39 square root of 12 then bring this to this side therefore 23 plus 0.39 square root of 12 equals to mu and so we do this so this is going to be 23 plus 0.39 into square root of 12 square root of 12 so this is going to be 24.35 so therefore mu equals to 20 4.35 24.351 actually so this is the value of mu so you see when you do a sum where it is not greater than and the va or it is not positive or it is the value the probability is not in the table most of the time you can use the uh, percentage probability table for this type of sum where the mean or the standard deviation is unknown but occasionally you'll find a sum that you cannot find that in the percentage the easier version and you have to use the main table to look up the sum